what's up you guys it's Michelle so I have quite a bit of a different video for you guys today I mean it's like not actually different but if you've been watching me for a while you know I'm not a huge fan of seafood I don't think I've ever had any sort of seafood in a video before I know I've done a sushi video before where all I had was like avocado rolls and cucumber rolls because for the most part from what I've tried I'm just not a seafood fan. I've tried a lot of different kinds of fish, shrimp, I don't know what else. But I was just thinking the other day that I've actually never tried lobster, surprisingly. I I mean, it makes sense. Like, I would never order it because it's expensive, and then people around me that order it are not going to offer me any because it's expensive. I don't know. People act like lobster is, like, the finest meal, and, like, it is gold. So I really want to try it. I drove past a restaurant the other day called Lobster and Beer, so they specialize in lobster dishes. So I thought it would be a perfect place to get food from. I ordered three different entrees, so I'm going to unbag them with you guys. Hopefully I like this stuff because it was kind of pricey. Actually, before um, before I get into this stuff, I have a drink. So the place is called Lobster and Beer. I don't really like beer either. God, I sound so picky in this video. They also, uh, they only have beer on tap there, so I wouldn't have been able to get any anyway. They don't have like a to-go cup of beer. So instead, for my drink, I decided to get possibly the lamest thing ever. I got a... Mike's Hard Cranberry Lemonade. <laughs> if you guys don't know what this is, it's basically like juice that has maybe 2% alcohol. I don't know. You guys don't know how lame it feels to walk into a liquor store and choose this out of everything they have. Even the cashier was like, do you like those? <laughs> so that's what we're drinking today. This is like as close to beer as I can probably tolerate. So, okay, don't make fun of me. Let's try this. Yay! It's a cute color. I don't think I've tried this flavor before. Okay, it tastes stronger than I thought, actually. I'm a real lightweight when it comes to any sort of alcohol because I almost never drink, so... Hopefully this does not hit me too hard. I guess I can leave it here. Let's get into the food because I've been talking way too long. First, I got the lobster mac and cheese, which looks so freaking good. Ooh, she's beautiful. Okay. Then I decided to get some lobster nachos, which this is actually such a small portion for nachos. I'm used to restaurants giving you like an entire trough of them. This is a very reasonable portion. Okay. There are really big chunks of lobster in here. So hopefully I like it. <laughs> Lastly, I decided to get a classic main lobster roll. Let's open this up. Oh my god, oh, that chunk of lobster that just fell probably just cost more than my life. Dang, this is the piece that I just dropped. I'm not gonna eat this because this is carpet, which is even more gross. But here's the lobster roll. Let's not do any more close-ups like that. All right, so here is our lobster feast all set up. Mm. If you guys are lobster fans and already know, be sure to leave me a comment down below what your favorite lobster dish is. Is it just like a traditional lobster tail or do you like stuff like this? Uh, I'm going to assemble my nachos now because they gave me all this good stuff. Sour cream. Guacamole. My favorite. And then we've got some pico de gallo. Okay, that works. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what these sauces are. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, this makes sense. Okay. What in the hell is this? Is this cheese sauce? It looks so pale. Butter? Okay, it's cheese. Wow, if that was butter and I just dumped it all over these, that would have been bad. So this is a cheese sauce for the nachos Ooh, I like that they separated it all and then some black beans I love black beans on nachos just gonna do a few of those okay sorry sometimes the assembly and setting up is longer than the actual eating in these videos so let's get into it 
I don't know what the sauce is. I'm just gonna pour it on. You guys can let me know, I'm sure, if I'm not doing it right. Very messy. Okay, let's try it. Oh crap, there's some lemon. Don't get in my eye. Okay, look how small this is. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, it is on my entire face. I just felt it come out of the sandwich and slam onto my face. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. napkins for this this is pretty good the bread is kind of sweet which is a really nice contrast it's so chewy I don't know I don't know if this is something about the texture is just like not my favorite but I feel like the flavors are so good super fresh sweet like I don't know I I do like it but like something about the texture of the actual lobster in this like just being huge chunks like this not my favorite I'm gonna try this mac and cheese now because I feel like it's probably the most mixed in that looks so good I love creamy mac and cheese and this is so creamy sometimes when mac and cheese is baked I feel like it can get kind of dried out but this one is so good mm. I don't know if there's that much lobster in it it looks like I only see a couple chunks on the top but it's it has a really good flavor Mmm. It sounds like there's a race car driver outside. There's a huge chunk of lobster in this. Okay, I like it more in this one because the texture I feel like matches the pasta more. So it's not as much of a stark difference. I like this. I could eat this for sure. I'm trying to be so positive because I know everyone is going to rip me apart. Ah! A lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to do a video with my boyfriend Adam, which we will do a video probably in the next month or so. But, um... He loves seafood. It's like his favorite food. So if we do a uh, video together, I think we will do something seafood related. So you guys will get to see someone actually really enjoy it. Mmm. The cheese sauce. Sorry. Their cheese sauce is really good. I think a lot of times as well, mac and cheese can be pretty bland. I need to just stand still, please. Okay, nachos. <gasps> Sour cream has hit the boob. No! If you guys see white drips on me, that's what that is, okay? So, nacho. Well, there is some lobster in this bite. How should I do this? Mmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Mmm. <laughs> I can 
definitely do this one because there's so much stuff in this. I'm spitting, I'm drooling. The flavor of like the salsa and the guacamole overpowers everything. Let's do the huge chunk. Okay, it's not bad. Okay. The texture works well with this for me. <laughs> I'm so picky. I'm sorry. I don't know how I have a food channel. Mmm. Mmm, these are really good. Mmm. These are still really crispy and good. I think that's probably why they do everything separate. Does this have any on it? There's no toppings on the bottom, which is disappointing. A professional nacho maker knows that you should always double layer the toppings. So the fact that there aren't any below is very sad. Let's take a couple more chomps. There actually is a lot of lobster in this. It was all kind of mixed in. I've made a huge mess everywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think that's gonna be it. Do I like lobster? I probably wouldn't order it, but I didn't hate it. It is very fresh tasting. It is very like, it has like a nice chew to it. Like I, I know why people, I can see why people like it. Okay, please don't hate me. Um, if you also don't like seafood much, can you please leave me a comment and help me not feel so alone? If there's any other, piece of hair flying in here if there's anything else that you guys would like me to try be sure to leave me a comment down below and yeah thank you so much for watching have a great day